Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and this video is about Hepatic Artery Doppler Ultrasound. Hepatic Artery Doppler Ultrasound is useful in liver transplantation evaluation. It is used in post-transplant monitoring to assess hepatic artery potency and detect complications such as hepatic artery thrombosis, stenosis, or pseudoaneurysms. It is also performed in severe cases of liver cirrhosis. We will focus on spectral Doppler studies of the hepatic artery. These graphs show the normal spectral Doppler waveforms of the hepatic artery. The vertical axis tells us about the blood flow velocity in centimeters per second. The horizontal axis is the time. This line is the baseline. It is the zero point in the vertical axis. Any point on this line is equal to a velocity of zero centimeters per second. In normal cases, the hepatic artery has a biphasic low resistance flow. It is called biphasic because it has two distinct components or shapes in one cardiac cycle. We see a sharp systolic upstroke peak, followed by forward flow during diastole. So these are the two phases, hence it is called biphasic. A biphasic flow is usually a low resistance blood flow. The top point of the systolic peak is the peak systolic velocity. In normal cases, it is less than 200 centimeters per second. In this case, it is almost 200 centimeters per second, but it does not exceed it. The next parameter is resistive index. It is normally between 0.5 and 0.8, and the acceleration time is less than 0.08. In the second image, the PSV is just over a 100, so it is a normal blood flow. Now we will compare the normal hepatic artery parameters with abnormal ones. Splenic steel syndrome is a complication of liver transplant. In this condition, blood flow to the hepatic artery gets diverted towards the splenic artery, so less blood goes to the liver. It can cause hepatic graft dysfunction. Splenic steel syndrome has various features seen on spectral Doppler. One of them is absence of diastolic flow in the hepatic artery with a reduced peak systolic velocity or PSV. The PSV is only around 40 centimeters per second whereas in this normal cases it is around 120 centimeters per second, approximately. There is no diastolic flow seen. Resistive index is measured by the formula PSV minus EDV, which is end diastolic velocity, divided by PSV. Since EDV is zero, the resistive index will be elevated. It will be more than 0.8. Here is a different case of splenic steel syndrome. The PSV is reduced and there is absence of diastolic flow. The resistive index will be elevated. In this case of splenic steel syndrome, we find an overall reduced blood flow in the hepatic artery. We cannot see a significant sharp systolic peak. A very small peak is noted, which corresponds to only 10 centimeters per second and the smallest amplitude can be considered the EDV. It is a very sluggish flow. This image shows a normal spectral Doppler waveform in the normal splenic artery. There is a sharp systolic peak, followed by forward diastolic flow. The image on the right shows spectral Doppler waveform of the splenic artery in a case of splenic steel syndrome. The PSV is increased. It is almost 150 centimeters per second. Whereas in the normal image, it is just over 60 centimeters per second. Flow is increased in the splenic artery. It is like the splenic artery steals the blood from the hepatic artery. In the image on the left, color Doppler is applied at the porta hepatis, where we can see the portal vein and the hepatic artery. This larger vessel filled with red color is the portal vein. And this smaller vessel next to the portal vein with brighter colors 
is the hepatic artery. The hepatic artery has brighter colors than the portal vein because blood flow velocity is much higher in the hepatic artery than the portal vein blood flow velocity. So this is how we can find the hepatic artery and distinguish it from the portal vein. And in the right image, we have a case of hepatic artery thrombosis. It is rare, but can be a complication of liver transplant. In this case, the thrombus has occluded the hepatic artery. We do not see color signals in the vessel next to the portal vein. Like in the normal image, we see brighter colors in the vessel near the portal vein, which is the hepatic artery. But here we do not see the colors. This means the blood flow in the hepatic artery is absent. This led to increased turbulent flow in the portal vein as a compensatory mechanism. We can see a mixture of colors in the portal vein. Hepatic artery stenosis is another complication of liver transplantation in which there is narrowing of the hepatic artery due to thrombosis or other causes. When there is stenosis, the PSV can be reduced. The EDV remains normal. Since there isn't a significant difference between the PSV and EDV, the resistive index is decreased. The PSV here is around 60 cm per second, and the EDV is around 50 cm per second. Resistive index is 0.32 in this case, and the PSV is also reduced. Here is another case of hepatic artery stenosis. The PSV is reduced and the resistive index is reduced as well. It is 0.27 in this case. Here is another case of hepatic artery stenosis. The PSV is just around 40 cm per second. The EDV is also reduced. The resistive index here was 0.42. It is decreased. This type of sluggish flow seen on spectral Doppler is called a tardus parvus waveform. There is a delayed systolic upstroke which creates a blunt systolic peak. And the peak itself has a small amplitude. The PSV is reduced. It is around only 30 centimeters per second in this case. It does not have a sharp systolic peak as seen in normal cases. Hepatic artery pseudoaneurysm is a rare complication of liver transplantation. It may rarely occur in cases of cholecystectomy or other surgical procedures. A pseudoaneurysm mainly occurs due to injury. There is a rupture in the artery and blood gets collected at one location, which appears as an anechoic cystic structure. On color Doppler, the cystic structure will show color mixing. This appearance is called the yin-yang sign and is often associated with aneurysms. One way to differentiate a pseudoaneurysm from a true aneurysm is by correlating these findings with the patient's history. Pseudoaneurysms usually occur from recent surgeries such as cholecystectomy or liver transplantation. Hepatic artery can also be evaluated in cases of cirrhosis but portal vein evaluation is more significant and important. In early stages of liver cirrhosis, the hepatic artery Doppler parameters can be normal. But in severe cases, it may show abnormalities. The PSV and the resistive index can be elevated. Hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia is a rare autosomal dominant genetic disorder in which there is development of abnormal blood vessels. If the hepatic artery is affected, it may be an arteriovenous malformation affecting the hepatic vasculature. In this case of HHT, we can see a very high PSV exceeding 300 cm per second. The end diastolic velocity is also very high. It is over 100 cm per second. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.